Hello and welcome to another Mimosa field video with me, Dustin Stock. Today we'll be going over the B24 installation, mounting, and alignment. You will initially need a 10 millimeter wrench, a number five hex wrench, and a 5 16 nut driver to mount and align the B24. We also recommend having another person to help make this process easier and quicker. So first you want to take the mounting bracket and attach it to the B24 using the two provided screws. Use your 10 millimeter wrench to tighten the screws down. When you're ready to adjust elevation, these two screws will need to be loosened up. Next, add both of the hose clamps to the B24 mount when you're ready to mount to a pole, J mount, or any other type mount that you're going to use. Once on the pole, tighten down your hose clamps most of the way so that they hold the radio up on the pole. Before tightening your hose clamps down all the way, go ahead and point your B24 toward the other end of the link. This is also called course alignment. Once you have your radios pointed, go ahead and tighten down the hose clamps. If you plan this link out in the Mimosa design tool, you will also know the plus or minus degree of the elevation. Go ahead and set your mount to around the correct angle. Keep in mind that each tick mark for elevation is 5 degrees. Power up the B24 so you can connect to the radio GUI through the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi or through Ethernet. Once the radios are powered up, you should be able to tell if the radios are linked up or not by looking at the LED lights on the back. If you have a blue flashing light, your link is connected. Regardless if your link is connected or not, log into the radio and access the radio GUI. On the dashboard page, you'll see the signal meter. If connected, you'll have a signal level listed. Please make sure you are only adjusting one radio at a time. Also make sure you are not adjusting azimuth and elevation at the same time. You want to complete one before starting the other. Now that the radio is powered up and you're logged into the radio, you can start the fine adjustment process. Loosen up the hex head screw labeled as lock using your number 5 hex wrench and your 10 millimeter wrench. Failure to loosen the screw will prevent you from adjusting the horizontal or azimuth on your B24 mount. Now, take your hex wrench and insert it into the hex screw labeled Fine As. Turning clockwise will move your radio to the left, while turning counterclockwise will move your radio to the right. Pick a direction and start turning. Watch the signal meter to see if your signal is getting better or worse. Even if your signal is getting better or worse, continue turning for a few more turns to determine if you're connected to a side lobe or not. If you are, the signal will get worse and then much, much better. Once you've adjusted horizontally, move back to where you had the best signal. To adjust elevation, make sure to loosen the two 10 millimeter bolts labeled LE lock. If you recall, these were the two bolts used to attach the mount to the B24. Take your hex wrench and insert it into the hex screw labeled LE. Turning clockwise will reduce the elevation of the radio while turning counterclockwise will increase the elevation of the radio. Pick a direction and start turning. Watch the signal meter to see if your signal is getting better or worse. Even if your signal is getting better or worse, continue turning for a few more turns to determine if you're connected to a side lobe or not. If you are, the signal will get worse and then much, much better. Once you've adjusted the elevation, move back to where you had the best signal. Now that you've adjusted one end of the link, follow the same steps to align the other end of the link. Once both radios have been aligned, go ahead and gently tighten the AS lock screw and the LE lock screws. Once these are tightened down and you've confirmed the signal levels, you have completed installation and alignment of your radio link. Okay guys, that's about it. If you have any other questions, feel free to visit mimosa.co slash b24-aim.